Playing the game. Thank you. I'm gonna continue drawing. What are you doing, Michael? Uh, just reading articles and scrolling Facebook, relaxing. I don't sleep that well here. Is it not cool enough for you? Or no, it's what? kind of cool. He's kicking me all night long. And... Well, you're in a different location. So. Yeah, and uh, I'm here a lot just like. Well, I don't know what you're going to do about that. Nothing to be done. It's a shame. Eventually, I'll need an operation. Get your prostate removed. Ew. Eventually, it's also a shame happen. about the, um, the calf is not I wish Leo had done that. His eyes have gone slow. I have a lot of trouble with the being. Yeah, yeah, his, yeah. his prostate is point, the most important thing extremely is large. Of course, the doctor said that needs attention. So, so he's 85, everybody, everybody and every man has a good morning prostate. Minus two, but I'm only there. It's gross. Well, what is it? What? It's just it's a fatty tumor. Using no, it's not a fatty tumor. Using instruments in the finger just to try and make the tissue Have you out. never watched it's a bit of careful it may opera? Just, it may just shell out. Now what we're doing now is just peeling it away from the normal tissue. Sometimes they don't shell out as they should do. They come out in bits, but we may be lucky with this one. We may be very lucky indeed. Okay, so we we'll look over here. More of fat. Is that a dog? It's a fatty tumor. But is that a dog? Yes, it's an old dog. Mm -hmm. Play the game? Yeah. I want to. Did you see the, the beautiful painting that he did of the night sky? Yes, he did. Oh, the night sky, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, see, as long as he has a screen, he won't go outside the moon. He won't do anything. He won't go back. That is out in its entirety. It doesn't mean that she won't develop other lipomas. Just because she develops other ones doesn't necessarily mean she only goes to that size. So um, sometimes, uh, as we would have done with this one, we just, just have to do it. I should get out. So, so I know. Get ready for it. Don't take that with you, okay? I know. So no, you can't. I do. Uh, I won't allow it. It's a physically large thing. Excellent. Well, I went, um, it couldn't have gone much better, that operation, really. It's so satisfying, the fact that, you know, it's a huge mass like that, and uh, it just shells out. And this deal certainly feel a lot better. What you dear. Lovely. And, oh, yeah. Um, bereaved new mum has lost her second born twin and now she can't get back on her feet. So has she not made any attempts to stand up at all? Well, I couldn't get her up at all. With one healthy calf still desperately needing his mum, Julian knows he must act quickly to save them both. I think what I'll do, I'll maybe give her a couple of bottles of calcium. Yep. Cows like this just have to calm me that down. I always need some calcium to boost the calcium levels and that will be uh, the thing to get her up. 
but very thorough as cows have got a big jugular veins, which makes it easy to uh, get in there. Get in there. That's it. There we go. Well, what happens with, with cows when their body is adapt just the point of calving, the body changes its metabolism and shifts all the calcium in her bloodstream and goes straight to her udder to make milk. And the result of that is the bloodstream gets depleted in calcium, and um, calcium is important to make cows stand up and move around and function and thrive. And ideally, what happens, you know, you're getting a good response to calcium injection is when you have a birth. That normally makes us work out. Yeah, the big old girl. There we are, she's back. And then we pull it out. There we are. Let them go up the earth. Yeah. So with any luck, she might just stand up now and take some steps. Oh, well done. Excellent. Oops. Still a bit wobbly. I have another so cow, which is no, not uh, muscles. Right. Just wobbly on her, on her legs and muscles are not quite as they should be. But she'll come right when those off will start to work. Like a lamb. Go on, your mum's over there. Yeah, she's she's gonna be she fine, isn't she? Oh, she'll, she'll be okay. James Herriot once said, animals are unpredictable, and so our lives are unpredictable. And we all know it's never easy to see.